right, let's try this again. What up all my fish, tank, ninjas? Today is June 13, 2019, and today I wanna to talk about this beauty, baby beauty, and my plans for attacking this algae. But before we get into that, I'm, a, I'm big on documenting. I like to think in the future I can look back on today and see how far I've come. And today we're measuring sleep. I wanna do a little humble brag. Yesterday I woke up at 4.50 a.m. without an alarm, but today I woke up at six. You win some, you lose some. Now I'm 194.6 pounds. And as for my half mile, that was not measured. That was not time because my knee still hurts and I'm not about to hurt myself even more. But we still walked it. We walked that mile every single day, even if we don't run it. Because we made a commitment to do it to the best of our abilities. And sometimes the best of our abilities is a walk. All right, so baby beauty. If you were on the live stream last Monday, for those of you who do not know, I do a water change live stream where we just kind of hang out and chat and talk about the tank. You notice that we were doing a lot of like scraping the glass, removing algae off the rocks. And of course, we're gonna start talking about algae. Now over the course of the past week and in, in the live stream and live streams, other people's live streams, people have been suggesting what I should do for Baby Beauty and its algae. Now. I'm hearing about all these chemicals, all these medicines that I can dose into the tank. And to be honest, I'm just not a fan of all that. For each their own, no judgment on anyone who is about like expediting that. I'm just not into it, right? I've been in the hobby for 15 years or so. And I know that when you have algae, it means you have like an excess of like phosphate, nitrate, all those bad, bad nutrients. The nutrients that create algae when they're in excess. But I also know that with patience and plenty of water changes, we can get rid of that problem. And over the past couple of weeks, I've been following that regimen. I've been doing 50% water changes every week. And if you look closely, you can see how some of this algae is actually withering away. Now, ideally, I would never have had the algae in the first place, right? In the perfect world, I wouldn't have had to recycle the tank or this would have been my first tank and there wouldn't be so many corals to deal with. But this is in a perfect world. I had to recycle the tank and all of these corals in this tank are in fact from that old one. So I had to start this whole tank without even a cycle and anyone that's been in the hobby knows that when you do that, you're just gonna have an ugly tank, ugly tank phase, and that's okay. I'm going through mine, you've probably gone through yours, and everyone after me will probably go through theirs. It's just a part of the hobby. But I'm trying to be patient enough to just do the water changes and all that. But yesterday I actually got a message from a good friend of mine. He's big in the hobby, a lot of y'all know him. It's a Aquarium Cabinet Solutions, AKA Nick. So many of us are fans. I'm one of those guys. And when he messaged me and said, Anthony, I want to help you with baby beauty. I have a simple solution that I think will actually help you tackle this algae and get her looking beautiful. Is that right, babe? Mm -hmm. Beautiful again. And I was like, of course, Nick, I wanna to talk to you. We hop on the phone. And I explained to him my philosophy, right? I don't, want, I don't want him to waste an hour of his day explaining some complicated philosophy he has on dealing with algae when I know that if it comes down to like dosing medicine or chemicals, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna be patient. And he said, don't worry, Anthony, it's nothing like that is extremely simple and it follows in line with your beliefs as a reefer. So I was like, okay, cool, let's talk. He explained, what I was talking about earlier, how algae comes from an excess of bad nutrients. And I'm like, okay, okay, Nick, all right. He explained that, again, in an ideal world, you would want to start a tank after the beneficial bacteria is established. I'm like, all right. And that's when he suggested that I use Waste Away from Dr. Tim's or Breakout or Outbreak from ATM. 
He explained that those are not like medicines, they're not chemicals, they're actually beneficial bacteria. They're just a different strand than you than the strand that you use to actually start your nitrogen cycle. You see the the bacteria we use to start our nitrogen cycle is actually one that breaks down ammonia. This bacteria actually breaks down like physical waste and sludge and grit in your substrate and your rocks. And I was like, wow, that sounds really good because even though we're tackling this algae, I'm starting to see some red slime algae and I'm just not a fan of that. He's like, this is going to help with that. It's going to help with that. But you got to do one more thing. And I was like, I'm all ears, Nick. Tell me what I got to do. He said, you got to block, black out the tank. I was like, cool. He goes, don't worry. Don't, don't, don't worry. I know a lot of people freak out whenever they hear like black out the tank because they think that the corals are going to suffer, that the corals are going to die. But the truth is, just like us, when we have a lack of food, we can go for a little bit of time, right? So the corals aren't going to get their photosynthesis. So what's going to happen is their metabolism is just going to slow down. They're not going to die. They're just going to slow down and stop burning energy until a new food source is available. I told him, yeah, I didn't know that. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't know that. But I did know that they were going to be okay. And that's because the majority, except for maybe two of these corals, actually survived Hurricane Harvey when I had like a foot of water in our house and there was no light, no water movement for over a week. I actually had to take a boat to even rescue the corals I was able to rescue. Everyone else was getting clothes and getting like all their stuff and I'm here just with like baggies trying to save the corals. <laughs> but yeah, so I told them that'd be okay. And it actually came at no, like it couldn't have come at a better time. Right, because this weekend I'm actually going to be in Houston, Texas until maybe Monday. It's um, what day is it? Thursday? Thursday, Thursday right now. So that gives us about three, four days to actually turn these lights off and let it be. Now, he did say to actually cycle between these two phases. So we're gonna do like a three day blackout period, then we're gonna have three days with the lights on, then like three days of blackout period, three days with the lights on. We're gonna fine tune that, who knows, it may be three days with the lights off, a week with the lights on, we're gonna figure this out. But we're gonna be alternating between a blackout period and a photosynthetic period, and we're going to be dosing either waste away or outbreak every week. I'm still doing research on the two products, but that's my plan for dealing with this algae in the future. In fact, it's already time for these lights to turn off. So, uh, look at this, look at this. Ah, <laughs> ah. Okay. there we go. Lights off, we're starting it right now. All right, so let's get into some comments though. I wanna show some appreciation to those who, ooh, who have been supporting me in this Endeavor. Oh, wait, I just lost everything. Oh, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna keep lost rolling. It. We're gonna keep rolling. We're gonna keep rolling. We're gonna keep rolling. Get it, baby. I believe in you. Ah! All right. So, I want to give a shout out to 915 Mang. He said, What's up? And I say, What's up, back brother? Reefing with O. Oh, get that nano back to where it should be. That's actually what we're talking about right now, brother. Uh, Vision Robs Aquatics, man. You gave a ton of comments, and I appreciate the support. 196, wow. You don't even look like you're even 165. Join your local Bally's gym and do some laps back and forth in the pool. That helps a great deal. I do it weekly. I'm weighing 169, and I feel great. That's, that's awesome, brother. That's, all, that's absolutely Amazing. And actually, I love swimming. When I got into the best shape I've ever been was when I was doing just what you were talking about, and I may have to take you up on that. Mike Lemming, another shout out for you for all the support. SC Reefer, water changes will be good for the next six months or so in regards to the dosing. And I agree. I'm just trying to figure out the dosing for the future. I'm one of those people that are like, I want to have a plan in case things go bad and a plan in case things go good. And I want to have that plan established well in the future. So when that thing does happen, we're not freaking out. And we don't have to do like six months of research in two days. I've been doing my research. I'm getting help from you guys. 
I've been doing my research. We're gonna be making an informed, smart decision when dosing is a factor. All right, in the comments below, let me know if you have any suggestions for baby beauty or tell me what you wanna see with baby beauty. Uh, if you have questions about photography, videography, SEO, uh, fitness, reefing, trading, whatever you wanna talk about, if I know the answer, I'm gonna tell it to you. And while you're down there, hit that like button, subscribe, stay positive, tap that bell, and don't forget to do amazing things. <sighs> oh, and uh, for those of you wondering why there was no trading in this video, I'm actually trying to figure out how to like compartmentalize. How do you say it? Compartmentalize? Yeah. <laughs> The video so that way those of you in reef into reefing can watch just the reefing those of you in trading can watch the trading fitness so on and so forth but just so you know like yesterday i lost about two percent but we're good progression not perfection i appreciate y'all peace